the United Nations. I was talking to my boy. He's in Charlotte. His name is uh, Emilio. Talking to him about book publishing. And I was looking at this book from American Management Association called mm. Technology Solutions for Growing Businesses. That's for you, Chadio. Technology Solutions for Growing Businesses. Talk about hustle. I did the PDF at the United Nations. And I shopped it around to Wiley & Sons, the publishers. I went on Amacom's website. They said, email us. I emailed them and said, listen, I typed 30 pages, word perfect. Anybody know word perfect? <laughs> Type 30 pages of it. And lo and behold, they said, if you did 30, just write enough like this, and there goes my book. So my point getting at just showing people goes back to the hustle. But I'll pause. Go ahead, Jerry. <laughs> no, no, you get a cool bell. Second period, y'all. <laughs> Come on now. Come on now. But what I did was basically, so I started five companies. Uh, family Computer Consulting Services was the one I just talked about, doing dealing with computers. I uh, dissolved that, you know, small, just didn't feel like doing it. Second thing I did, then I bought the domain smallbiztechnology.com in April 1999. So I bought that domain name and I built that into a blog and I sold that, in fact, 20 years later in 2019. So that's smallbiztechnology.com. Third business was Small Business Summit. Small Business Summit was a event business I did once a year. I started that in 2006, and I sold that to another blogger. We had about 300 to 400 people come annually, so I sold that to another blogger. That's Small Business Summit. Fourth business then was SmartHustle.com. Started SmartHustle.com in 2015, and I'm proud to say I sold that to Zen Business seven years later. So Ooh. if you look on Zen Business's site, you'll see some of my content on their site. That's Zen Business, and then today I own... Uh, zoneofgenius.com. So, but you said something. And I swear, to, I was just talking to Wifey about this yesterday. Yeah. Buying the power of buying domains and domain acquisition, and how lucrative that shit can be. So, for context, we used to do something like uh, we used to do domain acquisitions for big brands, like big uh, banking businesses. Or say, for instance, they have like let's say Chase for Business or something yeah. like that, right? They have a, a particular campaign, campaign they want to do. They want this particular domain. But you've got that domain. You've been sitting on it since 99. Right. And the value of that, based on the traffic and all the different metrics that they look at, gives you an estimated value of what that's, that's right. like. And if they call you and they want that, I've seen some domains go for 50, 100 Gs, yeah. 200 right. Gs, just that's for you right. owning a domain. If you go to GoDaddy.com, you can own a domain right now for $21.99 per, I mean, for the year. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah. It's a great investment for anybody thinking. Just think about the keywords. Think about things like this. Imagine if you just had, I'm just trying to wait, what's something, uh, like you said, small business summit. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Is businessconferences.com. And somebody yeah. comes up with business conferences, something, he wants to come up with an aggregate website to right. connect all the conferences in one place, but you got the domain, you don't even have a website up. That's right.